Hey folks, this is Vagrant and welcome to a beautifully rainy day here in Animal Crossing and on Twin Peaks. It is 5.32am, as promised I'm going to try to record before I go to sleep. No news today. Personal news, she got to video chat with her mum and dad, she seems to do that quite a lot. She is actually meant to be telling me about something and she doesn't seem to be doing it, I'm not really sure why. So you'll remember, yesterday's video we found a blue shell blue shell <laughs> on the beach. I do not look appropriate for this weather anymore. <laughs> we found a blue shell on the beach and that blue shell is a summer shell and you actually use it to craft special summer recipes that are only available from now until the end of August and I believe Isabel is actually meant to announce it in the news and give me a special recipe, you know kind of like egg day where she gave you like a little wand recipe or something. Oh no, like with the uh, Ugh, like with the blossoms, with the cherry blossoms, and she announces it in the news, and she has neglected me for some reason. I'm not really sure why she hates me, but she does. Um, anyways, anyone new? No red today, so we'll see who our guest is. I bought some stuff. I don't know what I bought. Oh, of course, yeah. Our crown and our cape, that's for Children's Day or something. Thank you, Dad Mug, for Father's Day, and Hornsby has hit me up. What did you have for dinner last night? We have it again tonight. Can I have some? I'll bring my own plate. You can, Hornsby. Not a problem, my friend. Now... My inventory's a little disastrous. <laughs> uh, we're going to clean that up. But as you can see, I did get some new stuff last night. Let's just move some malarkey around slightly. Um, yeah, so I went and did a little bit. So this is what you saw in the other video. So we saw tilapia and the drone beetle. I also managed to catch a mosquito, which is pretty common. And the fireflies, which are really, really cool. So I'm going to show that off. But uh Yeah, very cool. Both of those are super common. We will... Probably still see the fireflies hanging around. I don't know. 5 a.m. Is that past night time? When do fireflies exist? I'll find out. As I do other things. I'll pretend I'm a professional. Uh, as I try to tidy up this slightly disastrous inventory. So let's get rid of some of this malarkey. We need to... Uh, we're going to sell some stuff, although I can't because the shop is shut because it's 5 in the bloody morning. That's why my window is open, by the by. I uh, got some weeds because I thought we're going to need those anyway. We always do. And I realised, by the way, that... If you, I mean this should have been obvious, but if you knock out rocks on a Nook Mars ticket island, you actually get much more in the way of clay and much more in the way of iron. You get very, very few stones. I think I broke three stones and I got one stone from the stones. So that was pretty cool. Where's the firefly on this bloody list? Oh, that's it. I don't think fireflies are available now. Two things are though that we don't have. That is the Emperor Butterfly, which is available till 8 a.m. And the Rainbow Stick, and that's also available to 8 a.m., but it's super rare, so we'll have to keep an eye out for them. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else we want to do here? Nope. Let's go. Oh, yes, clothing. Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, this means we're not doing all the morning shop stuff, but it's nice to get away from that every now and again. And I will say, 5 a.m. is the most beautiful time of the day for the music. The lighting is gorgeous. The music is gorgeous. It's raining, which is cool. And then you walk in here, it's like, dear, no, no, it ruins the ambiance a little bit, I'll admit. So I want to sort this by time. We found some clothing. So this is actually for Pashmina, the, chi the China Poblana. And that's all for Pashmina as well. I think this is both a book. So let's give him the shades. Because he's a cool kid. Like me. Cough, cough. I'll stop. I did try to do a little fishing last night. I actually saw the rainbow eel, which is like this really weird, long, skinny shadow, and I scared it away by accident. It just popped up as I was... Bum, bum. It just popped up as I was around in the corner, and oh, I was really annoyed. I don't think it's that rare. I hope it's not that bloody rare. <laughs> oh. Oh, I guess that only counts for seasons that are currently in season. That makes sense. Is it still available? Yeah, I want to see how much it costs. Yeah, it only sells for 600, so it's nothing particularly rare. It's just, I wanted it. It looks really cool. But we do have four things to donate to the museum, which is pretty cool as well. I was so close to finishing off this bloody aquaria, but now I'm miles away. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's at least ten or so fish that I need now. I was so close to glory, folks. So close to glory. Anyways, here we are. Lovely day. There it is with all the plant life and stuff popped up. I'm really happy with how this looks now. It's super cute. Ba -ba -dum, bum 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 Everyone's probably asleep, given the uh, time of morning. You don't tend to get many wandering around. Yeah, you see all the lights are on, but the doors are 
Like, the lights are on, but the curtains are shut. Which I believe means people are in, but they're not interested in your rubbish. So, we have to smash a couple of rocks. Oh, I have to... Oh, no, I don't have a shovel. I just remembered. I, um... <gasps> cool. Right, okay. Now, I need to focus here. I need to focus. It's probably just a sucker fish, okay? But... I didn't see any finned fish yesterday. I'm just going to focus. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to turn my volume way up. I clicked it as soon as I heard. As soon as I heard. Literally, as soon as the noise happened, I clicked. This is why I don't do it on the bloody computer. Oh, and that wasn't a sucker fish, because if, if that was a sucker fish, I was quick enough. i tell you that much. I was 100% quick enough to catch that if it was a sucker fish. Uh, I just, it's so frustrating. I don't know if there's a problem with the Elgato or something like that, or my PC's rendering of the Elgato, but there is such an annoying amount of lag. I never miss a fish when I'm playing on the handheld. Never! And on this, it kills me. And I've let the game convince me that it's my fault and that I'm a bad player. But you know what? I don't think it is that. I think, I think, I think I'm going to 100% blame the Elgato going forward. <laughs> or my PC, as the case may be. Oh no! Look, just to, just to clarify, I'm a good player. The game is rigged against me. Okay, I just want I just want to make sure everyone knows that. Okay, but it has a fin. It's a sucker fish. I guarantee it's a sucker fish. Oh, maybe. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> what? Look at that beast! What just happened? Whoa! 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 I was not expecting that. Oh, what a monster. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe that's my... I mean, I, I was very quick. I always think I am very quick. I think the game's out to get me. That's the drone beetle. We don't need any more of those. May as well scare it away, actually. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs> this is what I need to do. I need to complain, and the game will reward me for my bitching, apparently. <laughs> Hello, little snail. I have to spook you, okay? Because I want to spawn other beetles that aren't you. I can't get a bloody shovel because at a time of day. It's actually really annoying. I could make one, I suppose, actually. That wouldn't be the hardest thing to do in the world, would it? I haven't made, I haven't crafted a DIY tool in a month or so. Seriously, ever since Nook's shop upgraded, I haven't bothered. Because why would I, basically? Iron wool, right, cool. I might buy more of these orange flowers. They sound really nice, actually. I like the idea. <clears throat> oh yeah, great way show, baby! Sorry, that's that's like top of my list of all animals to possibly catch. Wait, I want to see how much it's worth. I think it's like 15k. I think it's like one of the rarest in the game. 15,000 that's worth. Although I will say, it is only a three-star rarity. Then again, I will also say this app has a bizarre sense of rarity. It, it has five-star critters that it calls one-star for some reason, so the app is great, but it doesn't get everything right. It's kind of nice to have an idea for, um, what are you going to talk about in your video? What's going to be the thumbnail? What's going to be the hook? And, you know, it is the second channel. I don't care that much. You know, it's more about just having fun. <clears throat> but, but, it still feels better to have, like, something cool and original for the video, right? I did have an idea for what we were going to do today, and we're still going to do it, but that is, <laughs> that's certainly a helpful one. Just so random, yeah. I, I miss those days, because I used to go fishing all the time, I would just, that's how I got all my fish, I didn't plan for bait or anything like that, eventually we got most things. I think really that is a fool's errand, and eventually you do need to resort to bait and stuff like that, but, is it not in here? Ah, I thought this was the, uh, I actually thought this was the shark tank, I wonder what this is then? It must be the shark. It looks like a shark tank. Maybe it's only certain sharks? Maybe the Great White because it is, um... <clears throat> yeah, it's there. Well, that makes sense. It's in the ocean. This is... <laughs> a, that's a very small Great White. B, that's a very small tank for a Great White. <clears throat> I wonder what the other tank's for, then. I'm really curious about that. Mahi Mahi, Anchovy, Blue Marlin... Tuna, anonymous, don't, oh yeah, of course. Giant Trevally. <laughs> anonymous donor, that's clever. Suckerfish, horse mackerel, great white shark. Very cool. Okay, yeah. 
We're going to hold off on the insects. We'll do... The idea is every month, basically, to do a check-in with the aquarium. This time it's a special occasion because it is our first shark and it is a great white of all sharks. Um, what we'll do is we'll get all the other bugs, which is only two more, I think. Two or three? Two or three? Rainbow stag, goliath stag, emperor butterfly. I think there's three more, but, uh, three more insects we need. And then we'll do a little tour of the gardens. Once we get all the fish, we'll do another proper tour of the aquarium. Saying that, there's a, there's a lot of fish to get. <laughs> um, I will try to record at some point later on this week at night time, just so we can, you know, you can experience the fireflies and stuff like that. Because they are really cool. They just hang around over the water. It's really cute. Right. <clears throat> well, like I said, I do have a plan. So, so, we got told... Scared the life out of me. We got told about this yesterday. We didn't actually do it. I'm just going to go buy some more flowers from... I really like the idea of the orange wind flowers for some reason. Love you, Leaf. Can you please just move here permanently? I mean, I really like you, but I also don't like that you take up a whole slot, you know? And I know we're going to get kicks at some point this week, and that is just... Anyways. <laughs> um, it got mentioned yesterday you can go to Harvest Island and do this, like, wedding thing. They want you to set up, like, a photo studio. Apparently, every time you do that, you get, like, a little reward, and it's going to change a little every day. And there's quite a lot of stuff to collect, so we can only do it for June, so we kind of need to start going every day to make sure we get everything in time. I think you probably don't need to do it every day for the whole month, but it seems like you do need to do it quite a lot. And we didn't do it yesterday, so why not do it today? Basically. Let's go. Plus it looks cute. That's important. <clears throat> Notice, no sneezing. Because I haven't gone to sleep yet. It happens so consistently that I only have like cold or flu symptoms after I wake up. That it has to be something related to the bed, right? Surely? I'm going to buy some hypoallergenic um, pillows. Hey guys! Are they llamas? Oh, poor Harvey. So this is Reese. Reese is adorable. <laughs> hey, Reese. Oh, the music. Cyrus. Cyrus has a pompadour. I want to get anniversary photos, fancy ones with sets and stuff. It's June now, June's wedding season. Here they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell you about it. Yeah! I'm well on board! So I believe they're going to request a certain style of layout, we have to match it, and then we take some photos and we get some rewards. Oh, she's so cute! What the hell? <laughs> you got to take five part way through, no problem, talk to me before you go back in. Reese is in charge, you want to know what to do, she's your alpaca. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Cool, 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 Hi, Reese. Oh my god. I love her. Why don't we have llamas on our island? Cyrus looks posh and angry, which makes me dislike him on many levels, whereas she's the cutest thing in the world. Anyways. Okay, now it's now it's nice nice again. It's getting, it's getting, oh my god, he's terrifying. <laughs> it's getting a little much now, guys. Come on, I'm right here. No need for this. I'm highlighting my forever alone pain. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Schmoopy. Okay. Ceremony photo in a place that looks like a wedding chapel. Okay. 
Lots of pink and white. Lots of furniture. Okay, let's give it a go. So we go into decoration and we click buttons. Not those buttons, we click different buttons. We click these buttons and we have wedding benches. I think in six. Okay, let's do that first. So this is the aisle. This is not how I would ever decorate a wedding, just, just as an FYI, but what the happy couple wants, the happy couple gets. <clears throat> oh, I would do our wedding. You can do, um, you can get married at the Natural History Museum, which I think sounds amazing. <laughs> I need to find someone who's willing to get married at the Natural History Museum, easy enough. Uh, all right, stick that there. It's looking pretty good so far. Never thought I'd be doing this on Animal Crossing, but there you go. Okay, not a bad start. Um, wedding decoration. Eh? Alright, let's just stick some of those up. Right, wedding wall. Oh no, chapel. Wait, what do you. Where? Yeah, it's already on, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. What's this? Blue wedding rug. Is that not already on the floor as well? Yeah, so we don't need that. How do I kill it? Where's Y on the Wii? Con there it is. Okay. I don't know where anything is on this controller. <laughs> uh, how do I go back into the wall? Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, figured it out. All right, so we're going to put these... Up there. Just in the middle like that. Lovely stuff. I mean, that should that should do, right? You ready to pose? Yeah! It's good, right? I'm good. Oh, no. Oh, sure. <laughs> Obviously, great. He's just a stoner. <laughs> He's wandered off somewhere and runs what I'm pretty sure is a pornography studio. Other than that, yeah, he's great. <clears throat> I got this. Don't you worry, love. Don't you worry. Pose. Okay. I think I have to go into photo mode to do that. So, photo mode. Remove myself. It's beautiful. Wait, how do I... Oh. Oh. How do I make them pose? I have no idea. Ah, oh, sweet, okay. It's a wedding bench. Cool. So we trade in these crystals and yeah, we can buy what we want. I don't see a world in which I'm going to particularly want the wedding furniture, but I think it's like the... Um, I think it's like, you know, egg day where we kind of just want to do everything essentially and get it all just because it exists. I'm not sure that's a good reason to do something, but I, I get major FOMO, you know? Oh, that's quite nice, actually. It's like a little shelf. Oh, cool. Uh, all right, let's get rid of these little Critopedia things. <clears throat> Can't be doing with that. When do you go? Oh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. must be when nighttime ends, I guess. And look, 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 only June. This is the only month of the year that the Fireflies are available. I'm sad. Drone Beetle. And, oh, we have more. Oh, yeah, Mosquito. It was just buzzing around. It was actually incredibly annoying to catch. <laughs> and over here we have Tilapia. Beautiful. And we have the Golden Trout, which I didn't click on. And we should have some pretty cool stuff over here. We have the Sucker Fish. It's my kind of fish. And <laughs> we have a Great White Shark, baby! It's nice that we've got quite a long time to find the sharks, though, because there are quite a few of them to... To fish up. 
Alright, so you, my friend, you'll trade me, won't you? You just called me Squirt, and now I want to kill you, but that's okay, that's okay. Let's see what he's got. So, Reading Bench, we can buy more of those. Decorations, the wall, the flooring, the rug. So, I guess you want to get the, the wall. Like, these, the problem with these is, once you're done here, you won't be able to buy these again, right? If you know what I mean. Does that make any sense? I mean, you won't be able to craft them again, and you're not going to be able to buy more of them until next year. So you kind of want to buy a few benches, you kind of want to buy a few wedding decorations, and you probably want to buy at least three or four rugs. But these, you only need one off to at least decorate the room entirely. So I think the wall and the flooring should be top priority. So I'm going to save up for both of those. Cyrus, if you keep giving me malarkey, I'm going to give you malarkey. Aww. And it lasts all month, and we are going to have to sign, like, Organize it in different ways and stuff, which is pretty cool. I'm excited. Does this mean you can't use the photo studio? For the entire month? People are going to rage about that, aren't they? Oh, no, there we go. They've <laughs> okay, we've got like some TARDIS kind of stuff going on here. Good job, buddy. I actually really like this little place here. I think this is super cute. This is kind of all for a while. Maybe this is just how I want my house. Just chill, you know? A little house in the woods. Shame we can't... <laughs> See, now I'm looking at it and thinking, huh, maybe I want my house to not be on the cliff. Maybe I want trees, you know, like like the hill behind with all the trees on. We can't do that where we are right now. Because we can't climb that high up. Maybe I want my house... <laughs> down there somewhere. I really like trees. You are just talking straight up malarkey. What are you on? Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Wait, 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 wait a gosh darn minute. I should have, I should have read that. I'm going to have to go back and read that. Can we do this all the time? That would be an immense change. That can't be, that can't be a thing, right? Right, I, want, I need to go to a Nook Mars Island. I have to go to a Nook Mars Island. I think it's probably just... A Harv's Island thing, but if that is a Nook Miles thing, that is a game changer. Sorry, I should explain why that's a big deal. Because at the moment, your only limitation on Nook Miles Island is your inventory. And especially if you're farming for fish, eventually you start throwing them back. Bigger than that, even, is when you're farming for like tarantulas, or in this case, scorpions, I guess. Once your inventory is full, you're done, right? You can't do anything else. There's no way, there's no way that's a thing. I, I really don't think that's a thing. But we're gonna find out. Yep, let's go. Um, the point is, you would be able to... If you ever found, say, Tarantula or Scorpion Island or Big Fish Island or something, you'd make an absolute killing. Which is why I don't think it's a thing. But maybe it's a stealth update. I've never left Harv's Island before, I guess, really, so... I wasn't there yesterday. I went to a Nook Miles Island yesterday. It wasn't there. I want the umbrella here. Now, see, I didn't think it was a thing. I wonder why it's a thing on Harv's Island, then. Is it in case you get there... I'm just going to buy a shovel. We're here now. We may as well be here. Is it in case you go to Harv's Island and you need to clear your inventory space for stuff you're doing there? I guess? I don't know if I see much... I'm, I'm a little confused by all of that. Eh, whatever. <sighs> okay, shush. <laughs> I'm just going to close my eyes, and despite the lag, I'm going to pull this off. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a sucker fish, but that's okay. Maybe this is a size 6. I didn't think the Great White looked that huge. It's a pain in the ass, whatever it is. <laughs> God damn it, it wasn't a sucker fish. It was something. And I tell you, I am clicking... Quickly, I really, I promise you I am. The second I hear that sound, pachow! 
exactly like that and it still doesn't work. And now I've got my headphones blasting. The sound is loud. And yet I still don't catch it. Life is pain, ladies and gentlemen. I've decided entirely it's not my fault and I'm leaning into that really hard now. <laughs> Well, I caught a fish. Okay, so I'm going to go and try and get as many of those sharks as I possibly can. Um, and the eel. Honestly, I, I would like to return to you with four brand new very rare fish. Well, three brand new very rare fish and an eel. I'm going to give that a go. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for joining me. Wait, not thank you for joining Wait, okay, yeah, let's do this again. So, so, thank you for joining me. If I don't carry on the video, if the video ends in like... 20 seconds, it means I gave up. If the video carries on after this bit, it means I didn't give up, and I caught some cool sharks and stuff like that, so there you go. Surprise totally ruined. So I'll either see you in a minute, or I won't see you in a minute. It's very confusing, but if I don't see you in a minute, then thanks for joining me. If I do see you in a minute, then not thanks for joining me, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Just in case, thanks for joining me. Cheers, myself as always. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, this island is absolutely incredible. Now, I've been here for a long time. As you can see, it is quarter to eight in the morning, but for good reason. We have ourselves a saw shark, a whale shark, a hammerhead shark, a ribbon eel, a goliath beetle, and a rainbow stag. Six brand new creatures. Every new shark that I got added a couple of days ago, I've now got in my inventory. I want to show them off, but I'm very nervous to do so. I'm going to try... Oh wait, that's a good idea. If I stay away from the water, I can show off safely. So let's show off some of these new things. There's our hammerhead. Look at it! There's our whale shark, a big boy. I actually love whale sharks. I have a big thing for whale sharks. We have them over in the Isle of Man and they swim around locally. Saw shark, I just caught this a second ago. There's our little saw shark. Uh, I caught another great white. And as you can see, I've actually got three ribbon eels. We can show these off as well. Very cool. And I also got a Goliath Beetle. Which is a big boy, that's an 8,000 Bell Beetle. And the Rainbow Stag, which is a 6,000 Bell Beetle. So, I want to talk briefly about the island. The island is so good. So, there are insects on the island, as you can see. But the only insects that spawn at this specific time of day, in this specific weather, on this specific island, are ones that sit on trees. So, what that means is you can... Let's say this is the... Uh, What's this called again? I can't remember. This is the the D something beetle. We scare those away. And I'll try to just do this rather quickly to spawn one in. But if we just run around... Basically what I did was I cut down all the trees up there. As you can see there's like holes in the ground and peaches on the ground and wood. The idea being I don't have to climb up there. No insects will spawn up there at all. So all the insects spawn down here. And you'll see as we run around these uh, green beetles spawn absolutely everywhere. But... They're not the only beetles that spawn. You do get the rainbow stags. They cost 6,000 each. If I didn't already have an absolute chock-a-block inventory, I would have farmed all of those beetles. And I did get a few of them just because, you know, that's 6, 12, 18, 24,000 right there. Um, the Goliath beetle is even rarer than that. But it wasn't that bad to catch. I just had to wander around and do this a few times. You know, do little laps off the island. And there's another one right there. That's 12,000 bells right there if I managed to catch them, you know. Um, the Goliath beetles only spawn on the palm trees, which made them rarer. Now, as for the sharks, I will say the finned fish are much rarer than I thought they were going to be. I know I've got one, two, three, four, five, six since we got here. <clears throat> Plus probably three or four sucker fish. So I probably caught ten finned fish. But, I mean, I scared away probably several hundred normal fish. I've been here for hours, literally scaring fish away. So, whilst it is doable, it was it was tedious, I'm not going to lie. And the only reason I kept at it was because I thought, if I don't get them now... I got I got the, uh, the hammerhead and the whale shark quite early on. I've been looking for the saw shark for ages, and I nearly gave up in the last few minutes. But I thought, if I don't get it now, I'm going to have to do this at some point down the line, and it's going to be much more obnoxious. Much more obnoxious. I'm in a good position to do this right now. Let's bloody do it. I will say as well, the, um... The sucker fish wasn't that common and at all. Just finned fish in general were really rare. Which I think makes sense. But I expected to see quite a lot of sucker fish, but... 
It wasn't that rare, and because the suckerfish doesn't vibrate the controller at all, whereas all the other sharks do, it was pretty easy to tell when you were going to get something special. Either way, I am super excited right now. <laughs> so we've donated a great white shark already, and we're about to chuck another six brand new creatures in. Rare ones as well, all of these. Ribbon eel... Actually, I'll say this about the ribbon eel. The ribbon eel is much more rare than I thought. I have seen two that I accidentally scared away, so I've seen five ribbon eels total. But considering that was out of like three or four hundred fish, I'd say that's still pretty bloody rare. Hey buddy, I've got a present for you. Want to just stay there with me? Oh, he's got a little lollipop! Come here, pal. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to spend ages doing this because the video's already been going on for a while. But I just, I think I have to show you guys all this stuff. It is, I've given you one four days in a row. <laughs> Simple Parker. One day rolled. One day. I'll give him what I'm looking for, right. <sighs> I feel so good right now. <laughs> I was I was a little apprehensive of all the new fish and stuff because I knew I, I don't enjoy the fishing that much, but I will say again it is so much easier using the handheld. And if like me you're struggling for whatever reason, just just use the handheld version. I didn't miss a single fish because I was too slow in like two hours of gaming on the handheld. Um, the difference is night and day, it really is. Right, so, Rainbow Stag, Goliath Beetle, Ribbon Eel, Hammerhead Shark, Whale Shark, Saw Shark. <laughs> and that is all the insects for the month except one. The only thing we need, I just want to double check on this. Yeah, good. Um, the only thing we need is the Emperor... Bleh, didn't mean to go down here. <laughs> the only thing we need now is the Emperor Butterfly. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that. It's quite rare. Sells for a lot. It's the rarest butterfly in the game, I believe. But once we've got that, we can go check in on our insects. I am going to go check on the fish, just because we've got all the sharks now, we've got all the ocean creatures, except the bloody barrel eye. <laughs> I just want to check them out. Now, I'm excited about this, but I will say there are plenty of rare fish still to go. There is a river fish, I can't remember what it's called, but it sells for like 15,000 and it is incredibly rare, so that's going to be a pain to catch. There's a couple of rare pond fish we need as well. It's cool, isn't it? Look at that big boy! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm um, just, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Cool things are cool. And let's check in, get rid of these buggos. What have we got over here? The Goliath, like I said, so these were for 8,000. These are really expensive. They were pretty rare. The drone beetles were absolutely bloody everywhere. But the rainbow stacks, I could have definitely farmed a whole bunch of those if I wanted to. But I didn't. Still not, I really am curious. What is going to be in there? Does anyone know? Am I going nuts? Is it nothing? Okay, someone will correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure, but I don't think there's an area of here that is empty enough. Because I think a lot of these are like pond fish right here, and these are small fish. I don't think... You know what I think that might be? I don't know how prepared they were for this, but we know, or at least suspect, minor spoilers for the future, right? But there is a belief that they are adding like a deep sea diving to the game like a deep sea dive that you'd be able to dive deep into the water and get stuff right maybe that's what that tank is for they're, uh, alternatively there are a bunch of fish that i don't know about that will fill the tank up don't get me wrong but that that could be a thing because it looks like it's definitely an ocean tank it's not a pond it's not a river it looks like an ocean tank so or alternatively right let's check these out i do have an alternate theory though there we go, look at them. There's the whale shark, there's the... Where's the others? Right, they're not all in here, are they? I see the great white, I see the whale. I don't see the saw. I don't see the hammerhead. It's very cool, though. The whale shark's my fave. Look at him, he's noble. I love whale sharks. We get them... Now oh, we get basking sharks now, man. Wait, so where the hell's the hammerhead? Tis confusion! <laughs> Is it in there? Am I, am I going crazy? It's not in there. That's the, like, that's the deep sea stuff, right? The hammer's not going to be in there. That's our football fish, oar fish, and coelacanth. I assume they'd all be in here, but that would be a lot of sharks. Let's just have a little click through. Whale shark, suckerfish, horse mackerel, great white. 
Mahi Mahi, Anchovy, Blue Marlin, Tuna, Giant Chifali. Okay. Are they on this top floor? Oh, the bit where you walk inside the aquarium bit. That's probably where they are. I wonder why they separated them. This bit up here. Well, this bit on the left hand side. I imagine that's where they are. Maybe in here? No. That bit's definitely. Oh, there's, well, there's the eel at the back. Very cool. Hello. There are more eels as well. I know that for a fact. It must be around here, right? This is like a shark tunnel sort of shebang. Maybe? There it is. There's our hammerhead. And there's the saw shark at the bottom as well. Okay, cool. Look at that. That's awesome. Right, we're not going to be coming back here now. Until I've got all the fish. Which there, are, there are plenty left to go. Plenty of rare pond. Plenty of rare river fish still to get. But, uh, yeah. Feeling, feeling really good. Feeling really good. That was a very, very successful day. So. So, 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 so. so. We're going to end it there. Um, I will continue my fish hunt and do all my daily stuff now that things have woken up a little bit. It's actually a little bit early still, but 8, 9 a.m. I'll uh, get that stuff done. All our daily stuff. And tomorrow, it's jaunty, isn't it? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. is jaunty. <laughs> and tomorrow, we will uh, probably go do the wedding thing again and probably just have a fairly chill day. I'll hopefully have a couple more fish to show off, but maybe we'll try to get some. I wouldn't mind... It's been it's been nice for me because I have been feeling a little bit overwhelmed with not quite knowing what to do next. You know, what's our next project? I know I want to work on this bit and I want to work on the bottom bit, but it was nice to kind of throw myself into this residential area and kind of know what I'm doing. I think we're going to work on the bit between the entrance and the path on the right. But we'll do fishing, blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Thank you for joining me. I will see you lovely folks tomorrow. And uh, yeah, this time, actually, thanks for joining me. Much love as always. Goodbye. <laughs>